In the heart of a tranquil valley, surrounded by misty mountains and serene forests, stood a small Zen monastery. This place, untouched by the rush of the outside world, was known for its wisdom and tranquility. Within its ancient walls, a Zen master and his disciples lived a life dedicated to simplicity and enlightenment. One day, a young monk arrived at the monastery, seeking answers to a question that had troubled him for years. Why does life seem so challenging? And why do some goals feel utterly impossible? The Zen master welcomed the young monk with a warm smile and a knowing glance. He listened patiently as the monk described his struggles, his sense of being trapped in an unending cycle of failure and frustration. The Zen master knew that this was not just a personal struggle, but a reflection of a broader human condition, a belief that some challenges are insurmountable. To illustrate his point, the Zen master took the monk to a nearby mountain that loomed majestically over the valley. It was an enormous, imposing presence that seemed to touch the sky. The master spoke of the mountain as a metaphor for the obstacles and seemingly impossible tasks that people face in life. He explained that just like the mountain, our challenges often seem unmovable and insurmountable. As they walked along the path, the Zen master shared an ancient story with the young monk. Once, there was a great and powerful king who wanted to build a grand palace on a peak of this very mountain. The people laughed and doubted him, believing it to be an impossible feat yet. The king was determined. He gathered his resources, rallied his people, and began the work. Despite the immense difficulties and skepticism, the palace was eventually built, standing proudly as a testament to perseverance and vision. The young monk was captivated by the story but remained skeptical. But what if the mountain represents something more than just a challenge? What if it symbolizes a barrier that we can't cross or overcome? The Zen master smiled gently and led the monk to a quiet spot at the base of the mountain. Here, a clear stream flowed effortlessly, winding around rocks and trees. The master pointed to the stream and asked, What do you see? The monk observed the water as it flowed smoothly, adapting to the obstacles in its path. The water bends and flows around the rocks, he noted. Exactly, the Zen master replied. The water does not force its way through the rocks, but rather flows around them, finding a path to its destination. This is how we should approach our challenges. When faced with a mountain, instead of seeing it as an insurmountable barrier, we must find a way to work with it, adapt, and eventually overcome it. The monk's eyes widened with understanding. So, the key is not to see the mountain as an impossible obstacle, but to find the right path around it? Precisely, the Zen master affirmed. In life, nothing is truly impossible if we approach it with wisdom, patience, and persistence. The mountain is only as formidable as the barriers we place in our minds. By changing our perspective and finding creative ways to navigate through difficulties, we can transform seemingly impossible goals into achievable milestones. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the valley, the young monk felt a renewed sense of hope and determination. He realized that the Zen master's lesson was not just about overcoming physical obstacles, but about shifting his mindset to see possibilities rather than limitations. In the quiet of the evening, the Zen master and the monk sat together in meditation, contemplating the day's lesson. The mountain, once a symbol of insurmountable challenges, had become a beacon of hope and resilience. The monk understood that with the right attitude and approach, nothing in life was truly impossible. As the first part of the story unfolds, remember that every challenge you face is an opportunity to grow, adapt, and ultimately succeed. Life's mountains may seem daunting, but with perseverance and a shift in perspective, you can overcome any obstacle. If you found this story inspiring, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more tales of wisdom and insight. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the lessons that life and Zen teachings have to offer. The next morning, the Zen master and the young monk set out on a journey through the forest surrounding their monastery. The air was crisp and fresh, 
filled with the sounds of chirping birds and rustling leaves. As they walked, the Zen master led the monk down a narrow path that seemed to disappear into the dense foliage. The monk, still pondering the lesson from the previous day, couldn't help but wonder about the practical aspects of overcoming challenges. Master, he asked, what if we encounter a problem that doesn't have an obvious solution? How do we find our way when the path is not clear? The Zen master smiled and continued walking, leading the monk to a small clearing. In the center of the clearing was a large, ancient tree, its gnarled branches stretching out like the arms of an old friend. The tree's trunk was covered with moss and lichen, evidence of many years of growth and weathering. This tree, the Zen master said, is a symbol of perseverance. It has weathered countless storms and harsh conditions but remains standing strong and vibrant. Just like this tree, we too must cultivate resilience and patience when facing difficulties. The monk observed the tree and noted its sturdy trunk and the way its branches reached skyward despite the challenges it had faced. But master, what if our challenges seem too overwhelming, like the storms that have battered this tree? The Zen master nodded thoughtfully. Even the strongest storms do not destroy the tree. They only test its strength and adaptability. The tree doesn't resist the storm. It bends and sways, allowing the wind to pass through. It's the same with us. When faced with overwhelming challenges, we must learn to bend, adapt, and continue growing. As they continued their walk, the Zen master led the monk to a small, crystal clear pond nestled among the trees. The surface of the pond was perfectly still, reflecting the surrounding greenery like a mirror. The Zen master picked up a small stone and dropped it into the pond. Ripples spread outward, distorting the reflection for a moment before the water settled once more. Notice how the ripples disturb the calm surface, the master said. Life's challenges, much like these ripples, can disrupt our peace and clarity. But just as the pond returns to stillness, we too can regain our inner peace by facing challenges with composure and persistence. The monk watched the ripples fade and the pond return to its serene state. He began to understand that maintaining inner calm amidst external chaos was crucial for overcoming obstacles. So, it's not just about finding a solution, but also about maintaining our inner strength and serenity? Exactly the Zen master affirmed. When we face challenges with a calm and centered mind, we can approach problems with clarity and creativity. This allows us to find solutions that might not be immediately obvious. The path may not always be straightforward, but our inner strength will guide us through. As they approached the edge of the forest, the Zen master pointed out a winding trail that led up a steep hill. This path is often used by travelers and pilgrims. It's not the easiest route, but it leads to a breathtaking view at the top. It's a reminder that sometimes the most challenging paths lead to the greatest rewards. The young monk looked up at the trail, realizing that the journey ahead would be demanding but potentially rewarding. He felt a surge of determination to face the obstacles in his own life with the same perseverance and resilience that the Zen master had described. As the day drew to a close and the sun began to set, Casting a golden glow over the landscape, the monk felt a deep sense of gratitude for the lessons he had learned. He understood that overcoming challenges required not only finding the right path, but also cultivating inner strength and resilience. The next day, the Zen master and the young monk ventured beyond the forest, arriving at a small, peaceful valley where a stream meandered through lush greenery. The air was filled with the gentle hum of flowing water and the scent of fresh earth. They paused near the edge of the stream, where the Zen master gestured towards a striking sight, a bamboo grove standing tall and resilient beside a large, weathered stone. This bamboo, the Zen master said, pointing to the slender, flexible stalk swaying gently in the breeze, represents the essence of adaptability. Unlike the stone, which is rigid and unyielding, the bamboo bends and sways with the wind. It's a powerful metaphor for how we should approach life's obstacles. The young monk examined the bamboo and the stone, 
reflecting on the master's words. The bamboo seems so delicate compared to the stone, yet it appears to withstand the elements better. How can something so seemingly fragile outlast something as solid as a stone? The Zen master smiled and replied, The bamboo's strength lies not in its rigidity but in its flexibility. While the stone remains unmoved and often succumbs to the forces of erosion over time, the bamboo bends with the wind, allowing it to endure and thrive. This adaptability allows it to survive storms and harsh conditions, demonstrating that flexibility often leads to greater resilience. The monk nodded, starting to grasp the lesson. So, it's not always about being strong or unyielding, but about being able to adapt and adjust to the circumstances? Yes, the Zen master confirmed. In life, we face many challenges that can seem as unyielding as the stone. However, by learning to bend and adapt like the bamboo, we can find ways to navigate through difficulties and continue growing. As they sat by the stream, the Zen master continued, consider how the bamboo's roots spread underground, anchoring it firmly in place while allowing its stalks to move freely. Similarly, our inner values and principles serve as our roots, providing stability and strength even as we adapt to external challenges. The monk watched the bamboo sway gently and saw how the roots held it securely in place despite the external forces. So, our core beliefs and values help us remain grounded even when we face unpredictable situations? Exactly, the Zen master said. Our values and inner strength provide us with a foundation that supports our adaptability. When we face challenges, it's important to remain rooted in our principles while being flexible in our approach. This balance allows us to handle obstacles with grace and perseverance. As the sun reached its zenith, the Zen master and the young monk continued their walk, arriving at a small hill overlooking the valley. From this vantage point, they could see the bamboo grove and the stone from a distance. The scene was a beautiful blend of nature's resilience and adaptability. The Zen master pointed to the view and said, Just as the bamboo and the stone coexist in this valley, so too must we learn to balance our inner strength with our adaptability. Both qualities are essential for overcoming life's challenges. The young monk took a deep breath, feeling a profound sense of peace and understanding. He realized that the Zen master's teachings about flexibility and inner strength were not just philosophical concepts but practical tools for navigating life's complexities. As they made their way back to the monastery, the monk felt inspired to apply these lessons to his own life. He understood that by embracing flexibility and staying true to his values, he could overcome obstacles that once seemed insurmountable. As the days passed, the Zen master and the young monk continued their journey arriving at a picturesque glade where a willow tree stood gracefully by a pond. The willow's branches draped down like cascading green curtains, creating a serene and enchanting atmosphere. The sight of the willow was a stark contrast to the towering bamboo and the imposing stone they had seen earlier. The Zen master led the monk to the base of the willow and said, This willow tree embodies another aspect of resilience, gentleness. While the bamboo represents adaptability and the stone represents stability, the willow teaches us about the power of softness and yielding. The young monk observed the willow's branches swaying gently in the breeze, their movement fluid and graceful. The willow seems so delicate compared to the bamboo. How can it be a symbol of resilience? The Zen master smiled and replied, The willow's strength lies in its ability to bend and sway with the wind, rather than resisting it. In times of strong winds or storms, the willow's branches bend, allowing the wind to pass through without breaking. This flexibility and softness enable it to endure harsh conditions and emerge strong. The monk pondered the Zen master's words, beginning to understand the deeper lesson. So, being gentle and yielding can also be a form of strength? Yes, the Zen master affirmed. In life, we often face situations where rigidity or forceful resistance can lead to conflict or failure. The willow teaches us that by approaching challenges with gentleness and adaptability, we can navigate through difficulties more effectively. 
The Zen master then invited the young monk to sit beside the pond and observe the reflections of the willow's branches on the water's surface. The reflections danced and shimmered, creating a beautiful interplay of light and shadow. Notice how the reflection of the willow is clear and undisturbed. The gentleness of the tree allows its image to remain serene and unbroken. The monk watched the reflections with a sense of calm, realizing that the willow's gentleness allowed it to maintain its beauty and stability. It's as if the willow's gentleness creates a peaceful presence, even amidst the ripples of the pond. Precisely, the Zen master said, gentleness and adaptability create a space of tranquility and harmony. When we approach challenges with a gentle spirit, we are more likely to find solutions that maintain peace and balance. As the sun began to set, casting a warm golden light over the glade, the Zen master and the young monk sat quietly by the pond. The willow continued to sway gently in the evening breeze, its presence a symbol of enduring grace and resilience. The young monk reflected on the lessons he had learned from the willow tree. He realized that resilience was not just about being strong or adaptable, but also about embracing gentleness and yielding when necessary. This balance of strength, adaptability, and gentleness could help him navigate through the complexities of life with greater ease. As the day came to a close, the Zen master and the monk returned to the monastery, carrying with them the wisdom of the willow. The monk felt a renewed sense of clarity and inner peace, understanding that resilience comes in many forms and that gentleness can be a powerful tool in overcoming obstacles. The following morning, the Zen master and the young monk set out for a secluded part of the forest, known for its tranquility and the gentle rustling of leaves. Their path led them to a small, secluded cabin nestled between ancient oak trees. The cabin was simple but inviting, and it was here that the Zen master intended to impart another profound lesson. As they approached the cabin, the Zen master motioned for the monk to follow him inside. The interior was sparsely furnished, with only a few mats and cushions placed on the floor. The room was quiet, with only the soft sounds of nature filtering through the walls. The Zen master invited the monk to sit on one of the cushions and then took his own seat opposite him. Today, the Zen master said softly, we will explore the strength found in silence. In a world filled with noise and distraction, silence offers a profound opportunity for reflection and clarity. The young monk looked around the room, feeling the quietness settle around him. Master, how can silence be a source of strength? Doesn't it sometimes feel isolating or empty? The Zen master smiled and responded, Silence is not emptiness, but a space where we can truly listen and reflect. In the midst of silence, we can hear the subtle whispers of our own thoughts and the deeper truths of life. It is in this stillness that we find the strength to understand ourselves and our path more clearly. The monk sat in silence, trying to absorb the lesson. The quiet was initially overwhelming, but as he settled into it, he began to notice the gentle rhythm of his own breathing and the faint rustling of leaves outside. The silence seemed to create a space where his thoughts could flow more freely and without distraction. The Zen master continued, Silence allows us to connect with our inner selves, to hear our true voice amidst the cacophony of external influences. It is a practice of letting go of the noise and focusing on what truly matters. As the monk sat quietly, he reflected on his own life and the many times he had been overwhelmed by external pressures and distractions. He realized that in those moments, he had often lost touch with his own feelings and thoughts. The silence in the cabin provided a stark contrast to the constant noise of daily life, offering a rare moment of clarity. The Zen master then guided the monk in a short meditation, encouraging him to focus on his breath and let go of any thoughts or worries. In this silence, allow yourself to be present and aware, the master advised. Let go of any preconceived notions or judgments. Embrace the simplicity of the moment and find strength in the stillness. The monk closed his eyes and followed the master's instructions, feeling a sense of peace wash over him. The silence was no longer intimidating but comforting, 
as if it were a warm embrace that allowed him to explore his inner landscape with greater ease. After the meditation, the Zen master and the monk sat together, enjoying the renewed sense of calm. Silence, the Zen master said, is a powerful tool for self-discovery and inner strength. It allows us to step back from the noise and chaos of the world and find clarity and purpose within ourselves. The young monk nodded in understanding, feeling a deep sense of gratitude for the lesson. He realized that the strength of silence was not just about enduring moments of quiet, but about using that quiet to connect with his true self and gain insight into his path. As the day drew to a close, the Zen master and the monk left the cabin and walked back through the forest. The monk felt a renewed sense of peace and purpose, understanding that silence was a vital part of his journey towards self-discovery and resilience. As the sun began to rise on the following morning, the Zen master and the young monk ventured to a nearby hill overlooking a large, tranquil lake. The surface of the lake was perfectly still, mirroring the early morning sky and the surrounding trees. The Zen master led the monk to the water's edge, where they sat down and observed the serene landscape. This lake, the Zen master began, is a reflection of the calm we seek within ourselves. But even the calmest waters are affected by the smallest disturbances. Today, we will explore the concept of the ripple effect and its significance in our lives. The young monk looked at the lake, intrigued by the master's words. What do you mean by the ripple effect? The Zen master picked up a small pebble from the ground and gently tossed it into the lake. As the pebble hit the water, ripples spread outwards, disturbing the otherwise still surface. Notice how a single pebble creates ripples that extend far beyond the point of impact. This is a metaphor for how our actions, thoughts, and intentions can influence the world around us. The monk watched the ripples expand across the lake, reflecting on the Zen master's explanation. So, even small actions or thoughts can have a significant impact on our surroundings? Yes, the Zen master affirmed. Every action, no matter how small, has the potential to create a ripple effect. Our thoughts and behaviors influence not only our own lives, but also the lives of others. This interconnectedness means that we have the power to affect change, both positive and negative, through our actions. The monk considered the idea, understanding that his own actions and thoughts were part of a larger web of influence. How can we ensure that our ripples are positive and beneficial to others? The Zen master smiled and responded, to create positive ripples, we must cultivate mindfulness and intention in our actions. By being aware of our thoughts and behaviors, and by acting with compassion and integrity, we contribute to a ripple effect that promotes harmony and goodness. The Zen master then guided the monk in a reflection exercise. Think about the ways in which your actions have influenced others. Consider the times when your words or deeds created positive ripples and the moments when they might have had unintended negative effects. As the monk engaged in this reflection, he recognized various instances where his actions had impacted others, both positively and negatively. He understood that his behavior and intentions played a crucial role in shaping the ripples he sent out into the world. After some time, the Zen master invited the monk to share his thoughts. By understanding the ripple effect, we can make more conscious choices in our lives. It's not just about reacting to circumstances, but actively creating ripples that align with our values and aspirations. The monk nodded in agreement, feeling a deep sense of responsibility for his actions. I see now that my actions have far-reaching effects. It's important to be mindful of how I interact with others and the impact I have on the world around me. As the sun climbed higher in the sky, the Zen master and the young monk sat quietly by the lake, appreciating the beauty of the rippling water. The lake's surface, now calm again, served as a reminder of the balance and clarity that comes from mindful living. The young monk felt a renewed sense of purpose and commitment to creating positive ripples in his own life. He understood that every thought, word, and action had the potential to influence the world in meaningful ways. As the days continued to pass, 
the Zen master and the young monk arrived at a serene pond surrounded by lush foliage. The pond was adorned with blooming lotus flowers, their delicate petals rising above the water's surface. The sight was both tranquil and breathtaking, offering a peaceful contrast to the previous lessons. The Zen master guided the monk to a spot where they could sit and observe the lotus flowers up close. Today, we will explore the symbolism of the lotus flower and its lessons about growth and transformation. The young monk gazed at the lotuses, intrigued by their beauty and the way they seemed to flourish amidst the water. Master, what does the lotus flower represent in our journey? The Zen master began, the lotus is a powerful symbol in Buddhism and Zen. It grows in muddy waters but rises above the surface to bloom into a beautiful flower. This represents the idea of rising above difficulties and challenges, transforming adversity into beauty and enlightenment. The monk observed the lotuses, noting how they emerged from the murky water, their petals pristine and vibrant. So, the lotus flower symbolizes the ability to grow and flourish despite difficult circumstances? Exactly, the Zen master affirmed. Just as the lotus blooms in the midst of mud, we too can find our path and achieve personal growth even when faced with obstacles. Our experiences, no matter how challenging, can lead to profound transformation and understanding. The Zen master then guided the monk in a reflection on their own experiences. Think about the challenges you faced in your life. How have these difficulties contributed to your growth and development? The young monk thought deeply about the hardships he had encountered, moments of struggle, loss, and uncertainty. He realized that these experiences had shaped him, helping him develop resilience, wisdom, and a greater appreciation for life's beauty. The Zen master continued, the lotus also teaches us about the importance of patience and perseverance. Just as it takes time for the lotus to grow and bloom, our personal growth requires patience and dedication. We must trust in the process and remain steadfast in our journey. The monk nodded, understanding that personal growth was not an instantaneous process but a gradual unfolding of one's potential. So, even when it feels like progress is slow, it's important to remain patient and trust that our efforts will lead to positive change. Yes, the Zen master said, patience is essential for nurturing our inner development and achieving our goals. By embracing the process and remaining committed to our path, we allow ourselves to emerge as stronger and more enlightened individuals. As they sat by the pond, the Zen master and the monk marveled at the lotus flowers. The sight of the blooming lotuses served as a powerful reminder of the beauty that can emerge from challenging circumstances. The young monk felt a renewed sense of inspiration, recognizing that his own journey was akin to the lotus's growth. He understood that by facing difficulties with grace and patience, he could transform his experiences into opportunities for growth and self-discovery. As the day came to an end, the Zen master and the monk walked back to the monastery, carrying with them the wisdom of the lotus. The monk felt a deeper connection to his own journey, appreciating the lessons of transformation and resilience that the lotus flower had imparted. As dawn broke on the next day, the Zen master and the young monk set off on a new part of their journey. Their path led them to a dense forest, where the trees formed a natural canopy, filtering the sunlight into soft, dappled patterns on the forest floor. The air was cool and fresh, filled with the scent of pine and earth. After walking for a while, they reached a small clearing with a narrow, winding path that seemed to disappear into the dense foliage. The Zen master stopped and gestured towards the path. Today, we will explore the concept of the unseen path and the importance of faith and trust in our journey. The young monk looked at the narrow path partially obscured by the underbrush. Master, how can we navigate a path that seems hidden and uncertain? The Zen master smiled and replied, the unseen path represents the unknown aspects of our journey through life. Often, we cannot see the entire path ahead of us, and this can create feelings of uncertainty and doubt. However, it is through faith and trust that we find our way, 
Even when the path is not immediately clear, the monk thought about his own life and the times when he faced uncertainty about his future. He often felt anxious about making decisions and worried about what lay ahead. How can we develop faith and trust when faced with uncertainty? The Zen master began to walk slowly down the path, encouraging the monk to follow. Faith is not about having all the answers or seeing the entire path. It is about trusting that the journey will unfold as it should and having confidence in our ability to navigate through the unknown. By taking one step at a time, we can move forward with purpose and clarity. As they walked, the Zen master continued, Every step we take on the path is an opportunity to learn and grow. The unseen path challenges us to rely on our inner strength and intuition, guiding us through the uncertainties of life. The monk observed the Zen master's steady pace and calm demeanor as he walked along the winding path. He began to feel a sense of reassurance, realizing that uncertainty was a natural part of the journey. So, even if we cannot see the end of the path, we can trust in our ability to navigate it one step at a time? Yes, the Zen master affirmed. By focusing on the present moment and trusting ourselves, we can move forward with confidence and resilience. The unseen path teaches us to embrace uncertainty and find strength in our own inner resources. The Zen master then stopped and pointed to a large rock in the clearing. Sometimes the path may seem obstructed or challenging. These obstacles are opportunities for growth and learning. They teach us to adapt and persevere, finding new ways to continue our journey. The young monk examined the rock and thought about the obstacles he had encountered in his own life. He realized that these challenges had often led to personal growth and new insights. I see now that obstacles are not just hindrances but opportunities to strengthen our resolve and find creative solutions. As the day progressed, the Zen master and the monk continued along the path, finding their way through the forest and discovering hidden clearings and beautiful vistas. The journey was not always straightforward, but the monk felt a renewed sense of trust in the process. By the end of the day, the Zen master and the monk emerged from the forest, having navigated the unseen path with faith and determination. The monk felt a deeper appreciation for the lessons of trust and resilience that the journey had taught him. The next morning, the Zen master and the young monk found themselves at the edge of a sprawling, ancient valley. The valley was known for its remarkable acoustics. Whispers and sounds seemed to carry for great distances. The Zen master led the monk to a vantage point overlooking the valley, where the gentle breeze carried the sounds of nature through the air. Today, we will explore the concept of the echo, the Zen master said, and how it relates to the wisdom we impart and receive in our lives. The young monk looked out over the valley, curious about how the concept of an echo could be connected to wisdom. Master, how does the echo relate to the teachings and wisdom we seek? The Zen master picked up a small stone and tossed it into the valley below. The sound of the stone hitting the ground was followed by a series of echoes that reverberated through the valley. Just as the echo reflects the sound of the stone, the wisdom we share and receive has a ripple effect that can influence others and return to us. The monk watched the echoes fade into the distance, pondering the Zen master's explanation. So, the echoes represent how our actions and words can have a lasting impact on others and ourselves? Precisely, the Zen master affirmed. Our words and actions create echoes that can shape our relationships and the world around us. By understanding this, we can be more mindful of how we communicate and interact with others. The Zen master then guided the monk to a quiet spot where they could sit and reflect. Think about the ways in which your words and actions have impacted others. How have they influenced your relationships and the people around you? The young monk closed his eyes and reflected on various interactions he had experienced. He recalled moments when his words had encouraged and uplifted others, as well as times when they had caused misunderstandings or hurt feelings. He began to see how his actions and communication had created ripples that extended beyond his immediate surroundings. The Zen master continued, By becoming aware of the echoes we create, 
We can strive to be more intentional in our interactions. We can choose to speak and act with kindness, understanding, and wisdom, creating positive echoes that contribute to the well-being of others. The monk nodded in agreement, feeling a deeper sense of responsibility for his own words and actions. I understand now that my communication and behavior have a profound impact on those around me. It's important to be mindful of the echoes I create and to strive for positive and constructive interactions. As they sat in contemplation, the Zen master and the monk listened to the sounds of the valley, the gentle rustling of leaves, the distant calls of birds, and the occasional echoes of their own voices. The natural harmony of the valley served as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of mindful communication. The Zen master then shared a final thought. The echoes of wisdom are not just about the impact we have on others, but also about the lessons we learn from our experiences. By reflecting on the echoes in our own lives, we gain insight into how we can grow and contribute more meaningfully to the world. The young monk felt a renewed sense of purpose, understanding that his interactions and the wisdom he shared were part of a larger tapestry of influence. He appreciated the lesson of the echo, recognizing it as a powerful metaphor for the ripple effect of his actions and words. As the day drew to a close, the Zen master and the monk made their way back from the valley, carrying with them the wisdom of the echoes they had experienced. The monk felt a deeper connection to the principles of mindful communication and the impact of his actions on the world. As the sun began to set, casting a warm golden hue over the landscape, the Zen master and the young monk arrived at the top of a hill. From this vantage point, they could see the vast expanse of the land below, bathed in the soft glow of twilight. The sky was painted with shades of pink, orange, and purple, offering a breathtaking view of the day's end. The Zen master led the monk to a spot where they could sit and watch the sunset. Today, we will explore the concept of light and understanding, he said. Just as the setting sun illuminates the world in its final moments, so too can our understanding bring clarity and insight to our lives. The young monk looked out over the horizon, admiring the beautiful colors of the sunset. Master, how does light relate to understanding and insight? The Zen master began, light is often used as a metaphor for knowledge and understanding. When we gain insight, it is as if we are bringing light into the darkness of our ignorance. This illumination helps us see things more clearly and guides us in our journey. The monk considered the analogy, realizing how light could symbolize the process of gaining knowledge and clarity. So, gaining understanding is like turning on a light in a dark room, allowing us to see things more clearly? Yes, the Zen master confirmed. Just as the light of the setting sun reveals the beauty of the landscape, our understanding reveals the truths of our own experiences and the world around us. This light helps us navigate our path and make informed decisions. The Zen master then guided the monk in a reflection exercise. Think about the moments in your life when you gained new insights or understanding. How did these moments change your perspective and guide your actions? The young monk closed his eyes and reflected on key experiences where he had gained deeper understanding. He recalled times when clarity emerged from confusion, helping him to make better choices and approach challenges with a new mindset. The Zen master continued, Understanding is not just about gaining knowledge but also about applying it wisely. The light of understanding should guide our actions and interactions, helping us to live with greater awareness and compassion. The monk nodded, acknowledging the importance of using insight to inform his behavior and decisions. I see now that understanding is not just about knowing, but also about acting with awareness and kindness. As they sat watching the sunset, the Zen master and the monk experienced a profound sense of peace and connection. The beauty of the twilight served as a reminder of the transformative power of understanding and the role it plays in illuminating our journey. The Zen master shared one final thought. The light of understanding is a gift we can cultivate through reflection, learning, and mindful living. By embracing this light, we enhance our ability to navigate the world with clarity and purpose. 
the young monk felt a deep sense of gratitude for the lessons he had learned throughout their journey. He understood that the light of understanding was a guiding force that could bring clarity and meaning to his life. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the Zen master and the monk descended the hill, carrying with them the wisdom of the light they had experienced. The monk felt a renewed sense of purpose and commitment to applying his insights in his daily life. If you found this part of the story inspiring, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more stories of wisdom and enlightenment. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the profound teachings of Zen and uncover more lessons about the transformative power of understanding and insight.